Welcome back to the channel. It is Friday lunchtime. Um, the beard has come off, the hair has come off as well, but that is uh, under my hat and that's where it's staying because it is cold. The wind is blowing icy cold. I'm hoping you can hear me. Uh, and the microphone's picking me up okay. I guess I'll find out later. Um, but my plans for this week were, were changed pretty quickly just with work and busyness. I ended up Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday having very busy days at work um, and I worked into Wednesday evening which means I couldn't get on the bike to do my planned workout uh, on Wednesday night and then yesterday I kind of made a last minute decision to go to the work Christmas party and I, part of me was gonna was not going to go because of infection rates going up and new variants and all that stuff um, but I did make a last minute decision to go which meant I missed the, the, uh, the race last night and a massive apologies to everyone I didn't send the spot, because I was so busy, I didn't get the spawn invite sent out to quite late. And actually, huge thank you to Chris Jupp, because he was the one who sent them out in the end. Uh, I hope everyone had a good race. I haven't had the chance to catch up with Facebook to see how everyone went. It's just been a, a busy couple of days. And I guess, you know, when I headed into these workout plans, you know, life kind of gets in the way as well. So whilst you say it's a 12 week workout plan, to do it across the 12 weeks is it's so hard when i had the you know the cold that i had last week and a busy week this week which has meant that i've now got the three days of this week to fit in the three remaining rides i did think about jumping on during work today to do the next workout but it's an hour and 20 minutes so once once you get on the bike off the bike and shower and everything and that's that's like an hour and 45 minutes and i thought that's a bit a bit cheeky to do that <laughs> during work time so I will jump on and do that tonight. Um, God, it is cold. My hand's freezing holding the phone. I'm going to enjoy my hot chocolate, have a bit of a walk, stretch the legs, and then uh, I'll catch up with you later when I'm on the bike. Okay then, time to get this workout ticked off so that I can move into weekend mode. Decided to jump on and do Innsbruck, because I don't think I've ridden around here for a long time. And the other option was Richmond, and I've done a few rides around there in the recent months, so thought I'd come to Innsbruck. This one is an hour and 22 minutes, six minute warm up, with then a four minute blue zone ramp up and a three minute green zone ramp up. Back down to a four minutes, 50 seconds grey ramp up, and then a few grey sections of 130 watts in and amongst the sprints that are on this particular workout. Three sets of five sprints this time, um, up from two, normally there's only two. Uh, so this is three, 10 second sprints with uh, some recovery time in there as well. Um, I, a few people gave me some uh, pointers about how to make the sprints work better in erg mode, but I've looked ahead at the schedule and this seems to be the last sort of sprint uh, workout, certainly for the next couple of weeks, if at all. So I kind of thought there's not much point in uh, trying to play around with settings and things, and I'd just go with, go with how it works. But yeah, I'm going to start the warm up, and then uh, be interesting to see what the uh, blue and then the green ramp ups feel like as well. And then. Uh, obviously the extra set of sprints, so let's see how this goes.
of those ramp ups definitely get the blood pumping. Oh, not too bad though, because obviously I'm quite fresh. Not too much of an issue. About to go down to a four minutes 50 ramp up. Oh, nice. All right, the way back at 120. Almost like starting again. I wonder how high it'll get before going into the five minutes, but feeling okay. Breathing quite heavy. But uh, yeah, that wasn't too difficult so far. Coming to the end of the five minutes at 1.30, the ramp up didn't really go much. I think it went up to 1.35. So we're about to hit the first sprint at 4.85. And it's a bit weird. I've done nearly 10 minutes of quite chilled ride riding. I don't really feel ready for it, but <clears throat> let's give it a go. I'm about to start in seven seconds. Let's go. Okay, so that's five of the sprints done. And I tell you, my legs still feel heavy. I haven't ridden for two days. And I still feel that they're heavy when trying to push through those sprints. And I wouldn't be surprised if I don't get the start because the erg mode didn't react anywhere near quick enough. And I think I only hit the 485 once in the fourth sprint. So yeah, I don't know whether it's course specific or what. It just doesn't seem to be as good this time. Maybe I'm just approaching it in a different way. But I got the star. I guess not that it really means a lot. But now I've got 10 minutes at 1.30 to back off a little bit and have a bit of a rest. I feel okay, to be honest. Um, I've got to do that twice more yet, so probably not going to feel, feel okay towards the end. But uh, I'll enjoy this 10 minutes and get ready for the next set.
Okay, coming up to the end of the second set. Oh, it's funny how quickly it can hit you. I just do not feel strong. Ever since that last 10 minute segment, I just feel really weak. My legs are aching and I'll come uncomfortable on the bike. And it's a bit disappointing after, as I said, being off for two days. I don't know, it's a strange one. But well, I'll do another 10 minutes now. 1.30 before hitting the last set of sprints and uh, I'm feeling I'm going to be moving around in the saddle quite a lot for this 10 minutes so hopefully it will give a bit of my uh, give me a bit of oomph back for those sprints Ten minutes wasn't too bad. I had to shift around a few times, and the sprint sections are uh, basically five lots of two minutes, ten minute sprints, and then one minute fifty at one sixty, and that's ten minutes. They feel so much shorter than that grey ten minutes at one thirty. It's crazy. <laughs> Heading in now in uh, fifteen seconds time to start the last set. Um, my lunch just started repeating on me. That's not good. So I'll try and get through these. See how I feel afterwards. Hopefully they're not too bad. Come on. Okay, so that's the last set of five sprints done. And you'll see in the graph at the bottom, I had to take literally a split second after each one just to get my legs back, to stop pedaling. It's a bit of a shame, but uh, yeah, I've got coming into the final 10 minute cool down, which I'm really hoping doesn't step back up again like it has done before and we can just sort of cool down from here well, 10 seconds till we find out please don't go up please don't go up three two one oh typical it's gone up hopefully it rams down quickly anyway um i kind of worked out on those sprints what to do it's it's almost like not that I've ever done it, it's almost like riding a wave. If you kind of get ahead of it, then in terms of cadence and trying to spin up, then the training never seems to catch up. Whereas if you time it right, just as the resistance on the train is ramping up, and you increase your cadence and effort, you seem to be able to ride it up to where it needs to be. And again, if you go too late, it just seems to, you just don't get anywhere near it. So. It's a bit of an art, and I'm not in any way saying that I've got it down to a T, but certainly in the final set, I kind of had a better idea of what to do. 
But uh, yeah, that's another one ticked off. Another workout in the bag. Somehow got to recover in time for tomorrow morning's group ride where I'll be doing another workout. So I can't remember what that one is. So I guess we'll have to wait and see, but I'm gonna do this warm down and I'll catch you in a bit. It's Saturday morning and time for the group ride. My legs are still feeling that. It's been less than 24 hours since the workout I did yesterday. And I did toy with the idea of not doing the workout now and just enjoying the ride and then doing the workout later, but I don't think I feel any better. So Swift's loaded up, I'm gonna jump on and get the next workout done. And that is exactly what I did. I joined this morning's group ride. We did the course Neokio All Nighter, which is actually a really good course. It kind of goes around all down, down the bottom and then up through the rooftops, which I've never done before. Um, so it was quite nice to go up there and see what that was, is all about, tick off another Zwift route. The workout itself was six lots of um, seven minute efforts at 1.75. Um, and when I've done these workouts on the group rides before, I've been able to listen to Discord, but not really chat along with people um, because I found them quite difficult towards the end, but this one, I was okay. I mean, I, I was suffering sort of, when it came to the sixth one, I could feel it and I knew I was putting a bit of effort in, but it's strange how it's got up in, in time and, and I've managed to find that quite easy. Uh, maybe easy is not the right word, but it was it, it's definitely easier than potentially some of the previous ones. And that's the benefit to doing it on a Saturday morning with a group ride because it actually went really quick. It was just over an hour, so it's slightly longer than the, the group ride was. But to just have that chance to chat with people um, and take your mind off the clock watching that happens when you're doing a workout on your own. And I think that's a huge benefit for me when I'm doing these workouts is having something else to distract me. And I think I'm probably going to set up something to watch or something or some of the other ones where I'm doing, you know, the workouts on my own. But however, another one under my belt. Uh, tomorrow is Sunday and I've got to do another one to stay on track. I must admit, I haven't looked ahead to see how, how difficult that one is yet. But um, yeah, I, I kind of see myself as back on track, which is awesome. Uh, and I've got another one ticked off. All good. In terms of rides this week coming up, we've got the Tuesday Trundle on Tuesday night, which is uh, an hour long unbanded ride aimed at about 1.5 to 2 watts per kilogram. Um, that's unbanded, so you kind of go at your own pace and try and stay with the group. Um, this week, I think it's Jill Theodosi running that one. And then on Thursday, we have our race night, which this is back to our standard race. So we have our staggered starts where the Ds go off at the countdown timer, the Cs go a minute afterwards, the Bs a minute after that, and then the As a minute after that, and they try and chase us Ds down, which they usually achieve. Um, it's getting more and more difficult because we've got, you know, sometimes our Dcat can be quite strong and, and stay away for as long as we can. And then on Saturday, we have uh, a slightly different group ride to what we normally do. We're starting at 10 o'clock rather than 11, uh, and it will be our Von 2 Ven Top ride, uh, which we've never done as a group. I've never done personally. I think there's a few in the group that have never done it before. And we're going to do that banded. Uh, which is great because I don't think I could do it without the band if I'm honest. But I'll get on, we can all get on Discord and have a chat. Take our mind off. Because I'm led to believe that course is relatively boring. It's, it's not like the Outdoor Zwift where you have the switchbacks and you can count down the, the timer and the 21 corners etc etc. And set yourself targets. It's pretty straight up um really so it'd be good to do it as part of a group get them on ticked off before christmas it was the the idea to do our special ride before christmas and on the last sunday of every month we do a uh, a special ride where we pick one of the bigger courses and do it as a banded ride um but obviously december being a weird month in terms of celebrations and things i just put out um onto Facebook uh, a poll to see when the best time was for other people and that's the date that came up number one So we will be doing that on Saturday So those are all the rides coming up next week details are in the description below if you want to come along do come along They're great fun uh, and very easy to sign up to and I tend to send out the ride invites um, the night before Apologies to everyone this week. I've been a little bit busy slightly behind with sending invites out and spawn requests, etc, but I will do my best to be better next week. But 
that is the end of this video. I'm feeling really good. I've got the riding on my, under my belt. I'm feeling quite strong. Heading into, well, tomorrow and next week um, to continue pushing on those workouts. So I will see you then.